remember something, people. There's not a college course called how do I procure business for my, how do I procure insurance for my middle market company? Nobody has that class that they go to. We are the ones who have taught them how to buy insurance. So we're the ones that have to be blamed for how jacked up this process is right now. And so some of the, some of the times you're going to have to have the insurance conversation because you run the risk of losing the opportunity because you're not willing to bend to what they're familiar talking about. So keep that in mind. There are still times where I have to do a coverage review to get that third meeting. Only two okay? minutes. 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 So the second meeting, you're just trying to get to the third meeting, which is you presenting work product based on whatever it is they have given you. And then the third meeting is when we go back. We present the mod master. We present uh, the results of a baseline risk assessment. If we've decided we're going to go that deep, um, it could be any number of things. It would be the the findings I call our coverage reviews risk mapping. Um, if, if it could be the risk map, okay. But it's never going to be the time for me to sell them the insurance. I'm just not going to do it. We're not quoting. You've not one time if you heard me say, oh, I'm going to get the renewal exposure data and I'm going to get to the marketplace and block these markets and quote over here and blah, not once. We're, we're far enough in advance that we're simply selling them on our intelligence, our value proposition, and all of the stuff they've never seen or heard of before. And the less you talk about insurance, the greater your opportunity is to capture their attention with what you're talking about. That third meeting, when we go back with the work product is when I present them with the conversation about the agent of record letter. And I actually prep them in the second meeting by saying, I want you to understand that you're giving me this product and I'm very thankful you, that you're giving us the opportunity and I'm confident that you're going to be happy with the product that we bring back and present to you. I just want to make sure you understand, you know, I'm not a not-for-profit. I'm willing to do this because I believe enough in my ability, in my firm's reputation, that if I come back and I deliver the work product that we're capable of, that you will have absolutely no problem whatsoever agreeing to hire me on the spot and fire the person that's not representing you the way they should right now. I tell them that in the second meeting. They know coming in that when I present that work product that I'm going to ask for the agent record letter. And that meeting is very simple. We go in, we, we, you know, exchange pleasantries, we present, we ask if there's any questions and I simply present them with the agent of record letter. I get them to agree that that's what makes the most sense for their business. And then I show them how to fire their agent. Now, 